What's going on everyone? It's your boy Savvy and welcome back to the Savvy Show. And today we've got a pretty cool badass looking SCP. Knock on the front, it looks pretty drippy man. Honestly, looking at the thumbnail, it looks really sick. And this is called SCP-1875, the antique chess computer. So this, I'm not, I don't even know what to expect. I'm assuming it's like a computer that could play chess and it's really smart, but the computer itself looks like a samurai. Like it looks like an atomic samurai playing chess. Like how badass can you get? Like, come on, man. So who knows? Let's see what this is all about. I'm assuming from the name of the SCP antique chess computer, it's probably going to be similar to um, the old AI, which what I mean by that is it's a really dated SCP from the past. And it's just like a relic right now. I'm assuming because it's an antique and, and that that might allude to the number of the SCP, which is 1875. It literally sounds like a date. So maybe that's the date they found it. Who knows? So with that all the way, if you guys are enjoying my SCP reactions and the content itself, please remember to smash that like button. It will mean the world and it takes less than a second. And also smash the sub button as well to join the family. You already know what we about. I post SCP content daily for you guys so you will never be bored on this channel. And remember, let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this SCP and if you can answer any of the questions I potentially might have within this reaction so yeah and shout out to the creator of the original content that i'm reacting to dr bob let's hope this is a home run i'm sure it will be so without all out the way let's get this show started Alrighty, scp 1875 antique chess computer let's get it man it is the mid 19th century in a village not far from st petersburg russia where a sideshow carnival has been set up there are a number of tents displaying various attractions, a man juggling fire in front of one. In another, a large bear balances on top of a ball. A detective from the <laughs> St. Cool. Petersburg police force has been led here in the course of his investigation into the disappearance of a local chess prodigy's twin daughters. I wonder if this detective is part of the SCP. <laughs> he had heard a rumor that the girls may be here and he could easily imagine a kidnapping victim forced to perform as part of this seedy traveling circus. After passing by a contortionist and a man throwing knives at a woman strapped to a board, he found what he had been looking for, a large tent with a hand-painted sign reading, The Samurai, See the Unbeatable Chess Automaton. The detective had heard about these kinds of shows hmm. and had Let even see seen one himself. The Samurai, See the Unbeatable Chess Automaton. <laughs> The detective had Atomic heard about these kinds of shows <laughs> yeah. and had even seen one himself. They would claim that their mechanical contraption could somehow play chess and beat even the best grandmasters without any human assistance. But the detective knew their secret. Inside oh. was a person, cleverly hidden in such a way that you'd have no idea from the outside. But what? there was always someone in there, pulling on strings or levers to manipulate the machinery as the crowd looked on amazed at the feats technology was capable of. And who better to hide inside one of these charlatan boxes than a small girl who had already shown an incredible aptitude for chess. Two girls were even better than one. Yo. They could work together or take turns playing in shifts. Wow, that's, if that's the case, that's messed up. And I'm assuming how long they got to stay in that little box playing. Because I'm, there's a big crowd. Like, I'm assuming they're going to be there the whole day until the carnival's over. To, like, get them out of there. So... Damn, no food, no water, like, <laughs> shit. The detective had the feeling in his gut that had yet to be wrong. The girls were in that machine. The detective enters the tent housing the automaton, but is stopped at the entrance and told that he has to pay if he wants to see. The smoky, lamp-lit tent is crowded with men all huddled around something in the center. A burst of cheers come from the throng. And again, the man demands payment for entrance, poking hmm. the detective in the chest, telling Damn. him he has to pay or get out. He's not even inside yet. Damn. The detective asks if he's the owner of the machine. The man says he's just the exhibitor. He again stresses that the man has to pay or he'll be forced <laughs> to leave, again punctuating his point with a stern poke to the chest. The, he's the annoying the hell the out of me. I'll, again, I'll punch him. The detective grabs his hand and twists his arm behind his back. Thank you. He asks again who the owner of the machine <laughs> God is. God damn. Pay too much. Tells him he really doesn't know. He only communicates through letters. Uh, all that muscles for nothing, bro. Like, <laughs> I hate people like this. I'm going look at this dude's face, too. Like, yo, tell me what I want to know. Yo, type shit. I like that energy. Doesn't know the owner's real name or even what he looks like. 
What the hell? The detective shoves the man aside <laughs> and heads deeper into the tent. Alpha shit. He enters the crowd of men, pushing them aside, and finally sees what everyone has been so amazed by. There in the middle of the room is a chessboard on top of a steel table connected to a small steam engine. Sitting steam next engine? to the table what the? is a stationary suit of samurai armor. And across from that is a Russian man who appears to be deep in thought. He is playing chess, and his game against the samurai does not look to be going well. <laughs> the detective sees one, the man make his move, queen left. and then, almost instantaneously, a piece moves by itself across the board in response. The man buries his head in his hands. <laughs> Checkmate. Ugh, the crowd erupts damn. in tears as the detective makes his way to the table. The exhibitor is rushing towards him. I wonder if he's just going to like lift it up and see it. Like, yo, that would be kind of crazy. Trying to stop the detective as he inspects the samurai suit. The suit falls to the ground. It's empty. The exhibitor is pulling on the detective, pleading with him to leave. The detective knows the girls are in here, though. If not in the suit of armor than under the table itself. Uh -oh. The detective grabs the chessboard and pulls. To his surprise, it comes off easily. And I figured he was going to do that, but watch there be nothing there, though, because it's SCP. Underneath is machinery. A complicated series of tubes, magnets, and gears whir and hum with electric current. The detective can hardly comprehend what he's looking at until he spots it. There in the middle of the machinery are two glass jars connected to the rest of the device by wires. There's a pink blob of organic material. In Don't tell me those are the brains of the two little girls that are missing. Bro, this is even more messed up than having two little girls inside this machine. Oh my God. That, they lo that literally looked like brain tissue. Well, it's probably their name. In each jar, brain matter, and they are labeled with the missing girl's name. Oh my goodness. This is SCP-1875, also known as the Antique Chess Computer. Jesus. SCP-1875 is a chess automaton from the Victorian period that is made up of four main components. Victorian the first period? Of which, wow. SCP-1875-1 is a steel table measuring 72 centimeters by 72 centimeters by 64 centimeters with a standard 8x8 chessboard painted on top. Mm -hmm. Inside the steel box is a sophisticated piece of machinery that combines mechanical and biological elements. The movement of the biological pieces comes by way of the magnets, brains, with the moves themselves appearing to be decided by an analytical engine. Integrated into the analytical engine is brain tissue from the twin 14-year-old daughters of a Russian chess prodigy who went Damn. missing during the 19th century and were never found. The pieces, which have been designated SCP-18752, form a standard 32-piece chess set and are carved in an oriental style. What I want to know is who took these kids. Like, that's what I really want to know. Who took the kids and, like, you know, dissected the brains and put in this machine? I... I'll be sur I'll really be surprised if the actual samurai got up and did it, you know? I'm assuming there's a creator of this SCP, and I hope we gotta, you know, find out who it is. That'll be kinda interesting. Hopefully we do. The pieces have magnetic bases, and the tops have been identified as being carved human bone and genetically matching the brain tissue in the machine. SCP-18753 is a small steam engine with variable speeds that is connected to the machine via a drive shaft. SCP-18754 is a suit of 18th century Gusoku-style samurai armor. The armor appears to have no actual connection to the machine, mechanical or otherwise, and it now seems as though the armor was merely a prop. Though multiple Foundation researchers have reported feeling a sense of unease and anxiety after making eye contact with the suit's mask. <laughs> SCP-1875 continues to be fully operational and even has adjustable difficulty levels depending on which speed the steam engine is set to. It's probably there just to intimidate the players that they're playing against and make it even more unwhelming for them to go against this Atomic Samurai. I'm just going to call it Atomic Samurai. Like, yo, it's, that's just crazy. And just to think that, damn, those kids, bro. I'm just thinking about those little two kids. Like, I'm assuming they got killed and they took the kid's brain. And damn, that's just, that just messed up. To test the chess playing abilities of the machine, 
A D-Class personnel was seated at the machine across from the samurai, and moves that were decided by chess software were broadcast into the room. Games were played okay. on each of the machine's five settings, and the chess software was used to measure SCP-1875's estimated rating on the ELO system, which is a method used to calculate the relative skill of players, with a higher number being better. At the first setting, the machine exhibited a chess playing ability that would be rated in the 800 to 1000 range, which would be the equivalent of someone who knew how to move the pieces correctly, but otherwise was laughably bad. Oh, okay. The second setting produced a result closer to 1200, which would put it firmly in the novice category. Hmm. The third setting in Just saying, I'm not I'm I'm not like a big chess player, that's why I don't know. Maybe this is like common knowledge to other chess players, but I am not one of those people. <laughs> Just letting you guys know. Prove the automaton's ability to anywhere between a 1200 and 2500 rating, which meant that it could perform like an amateur all the way up to a master level. Dang. The fourth setting, though, was where the machine became truly incredible Ooh. and operated above a 2500 ELO rating. At that level, it would play like a chess grandmaster and sometimes operated at a level higher than any human has ever been recorded. Wait! <laughs> How is that possible? With the brains of the little kids, th those are daughters of like a uh, chess champion, right? Could could this machine reach these feats because there's two brains? And one, like, just can we remind you, like, the chess pieces itself is human bones of the kids. Like, this seems like a pretty, like, nonchalant, like, a chill SCP, not too dangerous because there's he's just playing chess with other people. Doesn't seem like he could kill these people from this point. Just looks like he could beat them in chess. However, like, the way this machine is brought up, it's pretty grotesque, just to say the least, man. Oh, my God. The fifth and final setting was baffling, though. <clears throat> The machine would play erratically, sometimes at a level even higher than that measured on the fourth setting. But then in the next game, would make nonsensical decisions or look like it was trying to lose, sometimes even making moves that were illegal. Multiple games were played at this setting, and the amount of illogical moves only increased. The pieces began to move faster and faster, and eventually they began to ram together until several were chipped. The testing was quickly halted after this, and further tests were suspended until a way to test without potentially damaging the pieces was found. Malfunctioned? Following this bizarre result, something even stranger happened. Five minutes after the test, an email was received by all members of the SCP-1875 email distribution list. The message, which appeared to come from a research analyst involved with 1875 research, consisted only of a single image which has been classified as it is suspected of having dangerous mimetic properties. Oh my god. Okay, after hearing the properties part, I thought it was going to be like the kids' bodies or something, like some gross, but so that's not the case, man. Multiple members of staff opened the email, leading them to unintentionally view the attached image, and soon after reported numerous symptoms. They would immediately begin feeling anxiety, followed by a headache and fever. To did he just reach, like, Broly level? Like, look at his eyes! <laughs> like, what? And feeling anxiety, followed by a headache and fever. <laughs> our, our man's just going rabid, bro. Two hours after viewing the image, they would begin feeling restless, unable to sleep, and hear auditory hallucinations. After four hours, visual hallucinations would begin as well. After seven hours, while still awake, they'd be exhibiting less and less response to stimuli. Hmm. After 11 hours, there would be only brief periods of lucidity, during which the afflicted person would appear to recover completely and immediately demand access to the computer on which they originally observed the image. What's the picture? I want to After see it now. 12 hours. Well, it only gets worse from there. SCP-1875 has been classified as Euclid, and the most important Jesus. aspect of its containment is that it never comes within transmission range of a wireless data network of any kind. Mm -hmm. To help ensure this, the anomaly is kept contained within a Faraday cage at all times. Oh my god. A network security expert is always on site. During testing, the steam engine speed is only to be placed on one of the first four settings, and never the fifth. <laughs> this rule became necessary following a test at the fifth level, after which a laptop computer was introduced into the Faraday cage to see if new research material would be what? transferred onto the computer similar to how the memetic image appeared. Oh, okay. It seems, though, that the laptop used was somehow infected, 
and spread its virus to the entirety of the site's computer networks. Damn. All electronic communications with the facility were strictly forbidden by the O5 Council itself. Okay, there's a lot that we're not getting from this SCP, which is like really, really interesting. Ah, and it's going to end soon. Damn it. Okay. I hate when it does like uh, this seems like a simple one, but there's so much other abilities that it has that's not making sense. I don't think they could fit all the explanations within this video. Man. Which shows just how dangerous this could be. No electronic communications of any kind would be allowed until it can be determined just how SCP-1875 is transmitting its extremely dangerous memetic image and how it can be prevented. In the future, should any staff come to unintentionally view or open an email that contains shakmate.exe, they are to immediately... Whoa, was that the, was that the image? Hold up. <laughs> Yo! Mm. Oh Gosh. my god. Uh, what happened? No, I'm I'm fine. Uh, are I'm you still recording? Are are you? <laughs> Yo, what's going on with the narrative, bro? Yeah, no, I can take it from you. Now go and watch another entry from the files of. Bro, okay, this this was a good one. This was a good one. Um, I thought it was gonna be something you know more simple, just a a Tommy chess player that's like super good at chess and like might have like a master, but. We didn't get to find out who created this. I don't think it was the like the samurai that got the kids' brains. Like, there's so many questions left unanswered. Um, let me know in the comment section below too if you guys know some of them. If you guys know other good, you know, videos that go in depth about this SCP, because I would love love to actually find out what is really going on with this SCP. If not, I'll just read out the wiki page. But yeah, man, this this was good. This is good, man. I liked it. This this is the look and the aesthetic appeal of this SCP and this chess is playing chess. Like <laughs> you can't make this shit up, bro. So um, well, technically they, someone did make this up, but you know what I mean. But anyway, I enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction as well. If you guys did, remember to smash that like button. It means the world takes less than a second. And also sub to the channel as well. I make SCP content for you guys daily, so you'll always get your fix of SCP heat. So without all out the way. I hope you guys all have a good day, and that concludes today's episode, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.